Hogwarts Legacy is getting a DLC, a new add-on, all the info in this video. What's up guys, I'm Frankie Boy, and we have great news from Insider Gaming. They revealed that there is a DLC and a new version for Hogwarts Legacy coming indeed next year 2025. So let's dive into all the juicy stuff. Tom Henderson leaked this and again Tom Henderson is a very credible source, he's almost always right when it comes to leaks. So. Let's dive into it. Insider Gaming understands that there's a Hogwarts Legacy Definitive Edition in development and its content will be sold separate um, as a DLC for those with the existing game. So don't worry if you don't have, uh, if you have the game already, you don't need to buy a whole new version. You will be getting that as a DLC for solely about 20 to 30 bucks as it's rumored right now you gotta say this is a suggestion uh, and i think it's an internal suggestion right now for the amount of content we're getting how much are we getting we're actually getting 10 to 15 hours of content with a new story quest new side quests new activities and outfits and to be honest yeah outfits they don't count for me i'm <laughs> not that into outfits i once i agreed on an outfit i liked i stick to it forever like uh, that's a thing i will uh, do but a lot of you people out there are likely going to like it. Um, there's nothing about new talents, etc. So I would love to see some more things to maybe explore builds or so and get a little bit more depth into that system. But I think it's quite unlikely. Maybe there will be some kind of new mechanics to give us some progression form in the DLC. Maybe some like new gems so we can encounter the DLC enemies, as we've seen in, for example, the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and those gems will only count in that particular DLC. I would like that, so we have some more progression, some more motivation. This always motivates me to have some form of progression system. Yeah, besides that, nothing that surprises me. It was totally clear that we will get this DLC for Hogwarts Legacy. The game was too successful to not make it. And I think 20 to 30 bucks, that's quite a fair amount of money to get for 10 to 15 hours of gameplay time. Now, the next year will be quite packed. We have Assassin's Creed Shadows, Kingdom Come 2, a, a lot of other stuff, for example, GTA. But we also have, of course, the Hogwarts Legacy DLC, since it will be coming next year, 2025. And this will be like a bolster for the diminishing game revenue uh, from Suicide Squad, which of course performed quite poorly and uh, they have to address it and maybe pump out the DLC to get some money back in. And I can totally imagine like pumping out five DLCs for Hogwarts Legacy each year could totally work and bring in money consistently. I would get those, I think, up to a point where the next Hogwarts Legacy would be coming out and I can imagine so many things to be like done in that next game of uh, Warner. So many possibilities and there's plenty to do in the Harry Potter universe. So it's quite soon for us. Uh, stick to the channel if you want to stick to the latest news in gaming. Also check out this video on uh, Hogwarts Legacy likely or the other one which is recommended to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will speak to you in the next one. Goodbye.